Hi, this is Dennis with Second Chance Tackle, and today we're going to go back to a series that I've been doing from time to time on the uh, buying and selling of used fishing tackle as a business, as a way to make a profit. And uh, today I'm just going to take you through what I found at a local flea market. It, uh, it's a tackle box with some tackle in it, and we'll talk about what, uh, what makes you buy something like this and, uh, and what the values are of the particular items inside it, particularly from a resale standpoint. So tackle boxes are by themselves not very, uh, not very valuable. They don't sell very well at, uh, at flea markets and the like. Uh, truth of the matter is anybody who's a fisher, in, uh, fisher person uh, pretty much already has the box. So uh, somebody looking for a secondary box uh, to store things maybe, but uh, for the most part they don't sell very well, so don't major on that uh, in terms of resale. This box has a missing handle on it, so uh, you want to just judge general condition of it. But what caught my eye when I went to sell this, or went to buy this, was I opened it up. This is a box made by Rebel, and uh, get it open, there you go. So it, it's a multi-tray, so it's got three trays and a deep dish to it, which means it's going to support a lot of equipment. Now, in my case, what I like to use these for is display on a, uh, a table. So uh, if I'm selling lures or if I'm selling uh, some head tied jigs or things like that, I like to put them in here on display selling. So I looked at this first as a, as a display piece. So that's where I intend to get the value out of this. But there's other value here too. I noticed as I was going through this box that there's an old fishing license in here. And the date on the fishing license was 2004. Which means that this stuff probably hasn't been used since then. Or uh, if it has, uh, they never upped their, uh, their, their license. So how do I recover my value in order to get a free uh, display item for the uh, uh, the sales that I do. Well, let's look at some of the equipment that's in here. First off, there's a handle that caught my eye right away. Uh, now, it caught my eye because it's it should be a handle for a smaller Daiwa, like the 2600 series, the older ones, uh, but it's also broken. Uh, there should be a, um, a hexagon pin coming out of here that's not. It has the screw, which is fine. Uh, and it has that ribbon in it, and we've done uh, videos from time to time showing you if you pop that pin out, you can replace a broken handle. So sometimes when you find a, uh, an older series Daiwa, you'll find that the, uh, the, the plastic knob is broken uh, or sheared off. Uh, in this case, I can pop a pin and use that as a repair part. So there's some value in there. Uh, let's say it's a dollar, I don't know, whatever. Then there's a couple of fishing lures in here as well. There's a broken back, uh, I believe it's a Rebel, and it's a, um, there's, a there's another little minnow kind of a thing. I don't, they don't appear to be marked. Oh, they are. These are Rapalas. So uh, Rapala is a, is a brand name, uh, you know, so a dollar or so, right? So we'll go for that. And then uh, there's a whole host of... Uh, of tackle here. Now this would be salt water tackle for us. It's going to carry a sinker and a, um, um, a hook off of that for a drop rig in, uh, in the Atlantic. And uh, there's probably about a dozen in there. So uh, we're thinking another dollar or so. Now typically I don't buy tackle boxes for the tackle in them. Uh, as I mentioned, the only reason I bought this one was as a display stand, and it's going to work perfectly. But for your evaluation, so something like that, it's probably $2 worth of those. Then we have a host of replacement hooks here. They're always good. What I find is typically if you're buying a, uh, uh, a plug like these in a, fish, uh, in a flea market or as used, you can see that there's a lot of corrosion on this. The, the uh, hooks probably aren't sharp anymore. And here's a host of uh, replacement hooks, so maybe another dollar. So I think we're up to about ten dollars now in terms of that. Then there's the stuff uh, over here. There's the uh, the plastic corks or bobbers. There's uh, six of those, so another two dollars there. Uh, like I said, a host of weights, um, smaller ones for pond or lake fishing in the one ounce variety. Uh, some mud bank ones. Some torpedo ones for uh, drifting chunk baits and the like. Uh, so overall, there's probably a couple of dollars in weights there. Then we have this. We have a, uh, a compartmentalized uh, uh, Plano piece. 
and inside of that there's a, again a whole bunch of, uh, of sinkers. He's going to two or three ounces. Uh, somebody told me if you wanted to do an accurate scrap metal on, uh, on sinkers, uh, you want to figure those at about uh, a sale of about six to eight cents an ounce. Uh, and then I got these two things which are interesting. So for some reason you always lose the side uh, buttons on spinning reels so those will serve as replacement parts for me. Inside of that we have a couple of bluefish hooks and some unsnelled hooks there uh, to be used. So this tray is probably five or six dollars by itself. So we're probably around twenty dollars now, I don't know, in terms of the, the true value. Here's something that's never been opened up. It's a, uh, a stick-on boat ruler for 37 inches. And it looks like we have a variety of packs of hooks here. The hooks generally sell for about 50 cents. So we got five, six. There's another set of uh, hooks there. There's another set here, two more sets. And they don't look like they've been used. They look like they're in pretty good shape all around. Yeah, so so I figure 50 cents is probably another four or five dollars in hooks there. Then we have the Stren. We have a six pound, which uh, both of these don't look like they've been opened. So uh, those are usually four or five dollars a box. We have a nice sleeve of the uh, the BB type uh, split shots. Then you're never quite sure what you're going to find here. here. Here's a compass, uh, fixed point divider. Um, I don't know what, you, what it's doing in a fishing box, but it, it's there and uh, it's a good scribe. I don't even know a value on that, two or three dollars. So right now we're probably about twenty-five or thirty dollars. Um, here's a um, here's a fresh plug. Uh, not even opened, so two or three dollars. And uh, two spools, now this kind of tells you the age of them. This one's an Olympic spool. This one's a Daiwa spool from a, a rear drag Daiwa. So, uh, you know, if I could sell these at a flea market, it'd be a dollar or two. So, so right now, uh, without uh, straining my neck to get anything else, there's a bunch of dividers that are for uh, hanging inside of a, uh, a tackle box. They hang the uh, fishing lures. I'm going to try and find that lure. They hang the lure there, so uh, that's what those are about. I can get one to work to show you. It kind of works like that. Hey. And they usually sit up in a stand. I haven't seen the stand in here, but that's kind of what these trays are about. They keep you uh, unsnagged there reasonably as well. So overall, this is probably, if I take all of this stuff and I sell it out, uh, or I use the pieces and parts on it, it's probably got a value of about $25 or $30 without the box. Uh, and the box is what I was going for. Uh, so at the end of the day, to uh, answer everybody's questions, I paid $8 for the box. And the value in that box, again, to me, is as a display item. I can see that I'm going to be able to fit 50 or more uh, types of uh, lures in that. You can see there's a couple in the tray here that I just put in there. And uh, we can use these to load line at, uh, on the fishing reels that I, uh, I prepare for resale. You can load them up because Reels that have new line on it sell better than reels without the line, uh, so we can use that as a value as well. So, to the point of it being a business, you have to look at it two ways. Are you going to use the stuff, or are you going to resell the stuff? Because quite honestly, in all of the stuff in the box here, there's not much there that people are actually going to look for, in particular the box, and particularly the box with a broken handle. Uh, but again, if you... Uh, if you know that you can package some of these things in, in dollar or 50 cent lots, uh, you're going to sell those at the flea markets. And also, uh, if you can use them for repair parts like we have with the handle here, then that's going to uh, uh, save you the cost of the part when you go to uh, repair a reel for resale. And uh, these are kind of freebies. So I need to make $8 back. There's plenty of stuff in here to make $8 to break even. And at the end of the day, I'm still going to have my display piece for my, uh, my flea market. So uh, just trying to give you a couple of ideas and some heads up on the business side of buying used, uh, used tackle and used reels and uh, preparing them for resale. So I hope that's been helpful. This is Dennis with Second Chance Tackle. I invite all comments and questions. And uh, if you want to reach me by email, use uh, secondchancetackle at gmail.com. Thank you for viewing.